It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And today we're going to ink Betty and Veronica's profiles. And I've got my trusty uh, brush pen here to do it. Now, as I do it, I'm going to ink Betty first, um, not only to work left to left to right, but me being right-handed, I want to make sure I'm not going to be, you know, p placing my hand on anything that's wet. So this it'll just be easier to start over here. Now, as I do this, I also I have, uh, I promised in a previous video to talk about, um, my time on the Life with Archie magazine. And I thought I'd talk about how um, how I got started with that because I was, I was a little late to that game. Now the magazine had its roots in the whole Archie Gets Married storyline, which was started by uh, the Michael Uselin, producer of the Batman movies, the Lego movies, all, the, all those things. Um, and Michael Uselin, of course, was was one of Archie's big hopes, Archie Comics' big hopes, to get some sort of Archie movie or TV show uh, done. Um, and for whatever reason, that, that didn't come to pass via Mike. Um, but he did get to write the, uh, the Archie Gets Married stories, where Archie married uh, Veronica, and then he married Betty. And of course... Uh, these were uh, different timelines. Now the plan, and, and keep in mind, I wasn't involved with this stuff, but I was still drawing at Archie, going up into the office every week. So I, I you know, I got to see this stuff in the works. So the plan initially, uh, after the great success of the married, uh, the married stories, they wanted to keep it going. Uh, and they wanted to spin it off into two books, a regular 32-page comics, um, one uh, talking about Archie's life uh, and how it would have been had he remained married to Betty, and another book, uh, same thing, only Archie would have been married to Veronica. So initially, the plan was to make those two separate regular comics. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know at what point things changed. Um, that's pretty much the way it goes at Archie. Um, you know, I mean, the, the one week you go up there and there's a plan. And then the next week, you know, either things are just, just not going to happen or they, they've undergone a massive change. So this is one of those things that, that morphed. Uh, and eventually what it morphed into was the magazine Life with, Ar the Ar A Life with Archie, The Married Life, I think was the, the official title of it. Now, uh, Paul Kupperberg, the famous, the legendary Paul Kupperberg, who wrote many, many comic books, uh, a lot of stuff for DC, uh, Paul was going to assume the regular writing duties on it. Um, not sure how Paul got got into got involved with Archie, but he was going to be doing the writing on this series. Um, and the uh, the legendary Batman artist Norm Brayfogle was going to be the artist. Now um, the the great Stan Goldberg, he had done the art on the actual, uh, the, the first Married Life stories, the ones which, which had appeared in uh, the regular Archie series. But for this series, for the, the magazine, they were going to have uh, Norm Brayfogle. Now, the, the magazine was, was pretty ambitious because it was a magazine-sized book. And it was it was over forty pages. It, it was a pretty it was a pretty solid package uh, because it had both features, both you know Archie married to Betty and Archie married to Veronica. They were two separate features, but both were included in the one magazine. And Norm was going to draw both of them, so 
and at this point too, from the start, the magazine was a, um, it was a, it was a monthly book, I believe. So Norm was doing it, and um, that that's forty plus pages and and a cover that he was going to be doing on a monthly basis. Now he drew the first eleven the first 11 issues of the series. And um, I don't know what happened. And I was just watching the, this series from afar. Uh, you know, at the time I was drawing, uh, you know, all, all sorts of other stuff for Archie, mostly probably um, lots of digest stories because that was, that was always my, my mainstay throughout my time there at Archie. Um, so I wasn't involved with the with the married life book, but you know I used to get the comp copies. I used to, you know, watch it from afar. Uh, when the twelfth issue rolled around, they asked me to take over the art for half of the book. So now what they were going to do was Norm was out, and um, now you know the, the reason that I was told was that he could not keep up with the with the regular uh the monthly schedule of a of a 40 page book um i and you know from from what i also heard on the street and and take that for what it's worth um norm also who had really you know he really made his name on doing batman for dc Anytime DC, you know, rang their dinner bell, Norm went running, um, you know, and, and he, Archie would have to take a back seat. Um, so I guess, you know, and I don't know who, who said goodbye first in that situation. I don't know if Archie let him go or if um, Norm uh, went on his, on his own accord. Um, I don't know. I, I can't say. Uh, all I know is that Issue 12 was my first, and um, I would be drawing, they, they offered me if I would draw the uh, Veronica half of the book. They decided that the, you know, the book's 40 pages of original art were too much for one person to handle on a monthly uh, basis. Um, I think I might have been able to do it, um, but uh, I would draw the, the Veronica half of the book and the Kennedy brothers, Pat and Tim Kennedy, uh, they would draw the half of the book where Archie was married to Betty. And uh, I'll, I'll say, you know, the, the Kennedy brothers, uh, they're very nice guys. And I think they did some of their best art. Uh, you know, they, their style really changed uh, when they did that. Um, but I think they were doing some of their best art. Now, interestingly enough, um, when I first started, um, I was told by one of Archie's co-presidents, who shall remain nameless, uh, the art direction that I got, I was told, make it look like Norm Breifogel, only better. And that is just about a direct quote. Make it look like Norm, only better. Now, in the interests of full disclosure and, and complete honesty, with all due respect to Norm, um, I wasn't crazy about what he was doing on the book. Uh, I, I, I don't know how much of it was because of time. I don't know how much of it was just he was making some stylistic choices. Uh, to me, he seemed very sketchy. Uh, very loose. Uh, I, I, you know, it was very minimal art too. Um, I was not crazy about it. Uh, so, you know, but I, what I knew what Archie wanted was basically Norm Breifogel, and really what they wanted was Norm Breifogel for Fernando Ruiz rates. Um, so I, I tried my best, and and. I, I'm, I, I can, I can mimic pretty well, uh, and I think that's one of the things that um, that let me do Archie for so long is that I can, I can mimic styles pretty well. So I did my best to mimic Norm, 
And interestingly enough, uh, in those first few issues, I would be doing certain norm-isms in the art, and I would be told, stop that. <laughs> uh, you know, they would, they, would, they would notice certain things, the way I would draw certain characters. Um, and, you know, these were things that Norm was doing, and, and they would say, you know, don't do that. Uh, you know, change this. Don't, don't make this guy look that way. Um, and I, and again, I, I wasn't crazy about what Norm was doing exactly. So I was totally fine. But after a little while of that, um, I just kind of said the hell with it and just drew it how I wanted to draw it, which was vaguely Bryfogle-esque. Um, and that was, that was probably the most art direction that I got on that series. Um, with the exception of the hassle that were the covers. And I, I think I may have talked about the, the problem of the covers um, uh, before. Now, covers are always a big deal at Archie. At least they were when I was there. They were always a big deal. They were always looked at. They were always analyzed. Um, and, of course, they, they always said they wanted different things for the covers. Now, I used to, whenever, you know, whenever I had to do a cover, and I did, uh, I did, once I took over the book, I did most of the covers for the, for the series. Um, I think there were a couple that went to the Kennedys, and then, um, of course, you know, Archie was starting to get high on variants, so there were a lot of variants along the way. Um, but they, you, you know, I, I would, offers I would offer some cover suggestions I usually I used to hand in three cover suggestions one that was exactly what they would go for one that I liked and one that would usually be like an, a, a real um, experimental wild card if they didn't go for the one that that I predicted they would go for they would sometimes go for one of the other two but the changes would turn it right into the the same cover that they always went for. Okay, so they always wanted Archie really big in the middle in between Betty and Veronica and everybody was smiling like a nut. Everybody would, would look like they were gassed by the Joker. And then once they started pushing Kevin Keller, that would be another, another uh, requirement too. Archie really big, flanked by Betty and Veronica and Kevin Keller somewhere in the shop. And then, of course, you know, doing this over and over, I would receive the complaint of, well, why do all, all the covers look the same? But it's what they, uh, it's what they were, it's what they wanted. It's what they were going for. So that was the beginning. That was the beginning of me on, on Life with Archie. Uh, and it was a, it was a fairly solid gig, although, uh, as I've intimated before, um, it really was the beginning of the end. Uh, and, and I will talk about the, the death of Archie and how that came about in another video. So there's Betty and Veronica inked in all their glory. Let me sign it. And uh, maybe I'll add color to this one in another video and talk about how life with Archie came to an end and uh, the unceremonious way I found out. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you in the next video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and uh, tune in again. Bye-bye, everybody.